never getting off track oh! Oh! Look, I woke up with Don't Life. Listen to the podcast, gets my mind right. Everybody else is asleep though. Trying to get my energy like Steve O. Huh? Yo, who does it better? I can't promise I can wake up with that, but oh my God, look at this. If you're looking at the video podcast, let's go. Are you seeing this right now? Are you seeing this right now? I got a brand new Dunk Life poster. Let's go. Get it. Let's get it. What's good? Happy freaking Thursday. I wish I could do something like that every morning, but I can't. But you know how I can? If you support me, there you go. Perfect segue. Um, Patreon is up. If you want to help out, that's a great way to help out. The first 50 people to sign up for Patreon, I'll personally call and say what's up and put energy directly into your veins. I'll siphon it out of my body and give you a little bit of mine. And so that's personal. And then also, if you want to, there's different tiers, what you get, the different levels of Patreon, but any support is just a dollar a month is amazing. Would help me out a lot. And I could do more raps. If you want my raps, if you want my intros to be fucking next level, you can help me out. And also, once I hit 100 people on Patreon, I'm going to start a weekly patron only live stream which i'm pretty pumped about so that would be really helpful and you guys are supporting me i love doing this i love doing what i do and if you want to share in that energy that's how you can help me and there's other ways to help me too just look down below and what's good welcome to dunk life daily am i dunking today i'm not supposed to am i going to probably what am i going to do i'm going to lay off the hamstring not going to go full speed because that stretching of my penultimate really wrecks it so i'm probably just going to do vert dunks but your boy's got bounce now so i think i can do vert dunks which would be fucking nuts um so yeah other thing is people are really asking me about my program. People have started this week. They started Monday and they're really loving it already. So I really appreciate that as well. That's so sick to see. I can't wait to show you some results already. People are already having results from their first jump day this week. I think it's today or maybe it was yesterday. I forget in the program. But if you want 50% off, listen to this podcast. I'm giving away five for 50% off again because I got so many questions. People wanted the code. So stay tuned. Most likely at the end. Hint, hint, it's going to be around the on this day part of the podcast. I'll give away the little code. And then you go to my website, you get 50% off the two week peak program. Okay. Energy book coming soon. I love writing it. Um, but today, the reason I want to start with music too, is because I was listening to that song in the shower, getting pumped up for the podcast. That's what I do. And music is just so impactful. And uh, two things about it. One is doesn't matter what the fuck you listen to. I want to know if you feel the same, because sometimes when I play a song like that one, you can't help but feel energized. That one for me, but I'm saying whatever gets you energized, use it to your advantage. Like use it when you're going to the gym, use it when you're going to get into a mood, whether it's relax, whether it's get hype. I love music and um, it's really interesting to really analyze it when I feel it, when I play it in my headphones, when I play it in my house, whatever. It's just like, it's crazy how it makes my body want to move. And it's just that those type of situations to me, when the energy, like I always say is so, Something that I really chase is like what fills me with what energy I want to match with what I'm doing. So for the podcast, I want to get hype. I want to get w- woken up and I want to go, don't go dunk today. So put me, put myself in the right mindset. It's crazy that a song and a beat does that to me. So why I love rapping so much as a form of expression and it's stuff that I love. And, um, it's just, I also, the, the second part of that, cause I said there was two things is doesn't matter what you listen to. It's like, if someone doesn't like a certain artist, it's, I go strictly on vibrations, whatever sounds make you feel that way. That's what you should listen to. doesn't matter what, um, person does. That's what sucks is that people have their own lives outside of the music, but the music they create is crazy. For example, R Kelly, I love singing his songs, but I don't know if I can anymore because of all this weird shit he did. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I love music. And it's just, it's music is such a universal thing. I don't really know anybody that doesn't listen to any type of music, even if it's something, but it's just so pure. It feels like one of the purest forms of life. And I would just, I love to think of people using it and just like feeling it. And it's just something that, um, I've learned a lot about myself through because of the rapping and different things. Sometimes even rapping, when I hear a beat makes me want to rap a certain way, get hyped. Sometimes I want to like express. And as I hear like a J Cole type of beat, and it just makes me want to like, express a worldview instead of just like get hype. But I want to make both types of music. I want to make some hype music where like that song just gets you hype and you listen to it. And it makes you like want to go hype to the gym. That'd be so cool to contribute to that part of the world. Have a song that I made um, 
that makes you want to go to the gym, makes you energized. I think that's such a perfect thing for me because I love spreading that energy and I love being the source. So that'd be so cool if I had a song, the Dunk Life Anthem, dude. It, it was an anthem by accident. It was, it's so funny. I just wanted to also point that out is that I made that just one of my intros because I just love rapping and I wanted to make my vlogs next level. And I made it one of those intros and it's I made it years ago and I still haven't made the full song. People always ask me, where's the full song? So maybe one day I'll do it. But it's funny how now Dunk Life Daily became a thing. And in that, in that song I made years ago I wrote it's every day it's dunk life and it's funny that it kind of intertwines and speaking of twines Mark Twain said I posted a quote what's happening right now exactly we're all over the place plenty of things to say I could do this for fucking 17 centuries if you guys support me I will do a fucking 24 hour stream of me talking my stream of consciousness I won't do that but actually if I get enough people I might do it just for the fucking fun of it um and that would be not mild psychosis. That would be major psychosis. So if you want to see that, <laughs> that's another reason to support. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Mark Twain said, if you, uh, if you tell the truth, you never have to remember what you said. And so with that dunk life thing, when I made that rap, that was really true to me. It's like those lyrics were, it's every day it's dunk life. What that means is that it's not just like I train on the days I dunk. It's like every single day I'm work in progress. So that's why it still holds true. And that's why everything comes together. So it's kind of like intertwined, intertwined. But uh, yeah. Uh, oh my God. It's been six minutes already. This has been so much energy. Fucking use vibrations. Enjoy your day. I'm going to cut it there. This was just a pure energetic podcast today. I'm going, it's dunk day. I have a lot of coffee in me already. I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm getting such amazing feedback. So I, I really appreciate it. And it's so awesome to feel like I finally came into what um, I'm best at. And I really like to hear feedback of people saying, that I motivate them or that they found something that they love. I love hearing what you guys found because it helps me. It helps me. If you say like, oh, I've, I tried this and um, I learned this about myself. It, it's feedback for me. So it's that loop. It's a fucking Ponzi scheme because I'm at the top, but you guys are contributing. And if you get in early, like I keep saying, you will be in on the jokes. Speaking of jokes, please keep, oh, someone reviewed my podcast. Listen to this. Ready? Um, so funny. Wait. Is it still recording? It's still recording. Yeah, it's just, it's really quiet to hear for some reason. It's like really silent in my house. Oh, I think the air turned off. What the hell? Okay, how to start your morning. <laughs> I love when I get to work and he already has the podcast up. Wonderful energy to get going and positivity. Also, do not have on full volume with earbuds. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> that was P Feel Fitness, F E I I L, I think. Okay. And then on this day in history, I wanted to, um, I like to do on this day in history because, God damn it, every day's history. And today, you can make history if you use this code and the code for today, because you can start my program today and you could make history in your own life. The code for 50% off is DLD 36 skin. So capital D capital L capital D and then the numbers three, six, and then the word skin S K I N one word, all one word. And yeah, go get your 50% off. You're welcome. And if you really want it, if you're a true dunk lifer, show me what you're working with. Tell me why you want it. Tell me if you have an event coming up because that's what this peak program's for. If you have an event coming up you want to jump your highest for, you have two weeks to do so, I'll, I'll hook you up because I really want to see you guys fly. It's the best feeling for me when I see you guys make progress because I was in your shoes. I was looking for answers. I was looking to jump higher. I was trying to learn how to train and that's what it is. And that's what I'm trying to do. I get a lot of questions and I can't answer them all. That's why I do this content. That's why I make this, these videos. That's why all my content started is to help people that I was in their shoes at one point, August 15th, 1461, August 15th, 1461 emperor of Trebizond surrenders to forces to Sultan Mehmet the second, the last Byzantine empire rem remnant to fall. Emperor David is exiled and later murdered. Can you believe this is real? Like this happened in our earth? What? When? Oh, 1620. The Mayflower sets sail from Southampton, England with 102 pilgrims. I like how I said when, but I just read the year and the exact day. But like, is that the same earth? Is that the same earth? Where's AI going, bro? It's going to it's going to get so exponential. I think we're going to implode. Honestly, I really think it's going to get so fast that like the energy is going to be it's crazy. I'll talk about that another time. Today in film, 1918, the first full-length cartoon, Sinking of Lusitania. Now, that is something I'm going to write down right now. The first full-length, Lucy, L-U-S-I-T-A-N-I-A. -I -I. I'm a movie buff. I'm a TV show buff. I love the cinema. I'm going to watch that because that sounds fucking awesome. The first full-length cartoon, The Sinking of Lusitania. Is that Mickey Mouse? That might be Mickey Mouse, maybe. I don't know, but that sounds awesome. It's one of those weird cartoons. 
1939. Ooh, another big one because it's two in this section. The Wizard of Oz, American musical fantasy film directed by Victor Fleming and King Vidor, premieres at Grauman's Chinese Theater, Hollywood, starring Judy Garland, Ray Bolger, Jackie, blah, blah, blah. Wow, so that's cool. Today in Music, 1969. Music, baby. Woodstock Music and Art Fair opens in New York State on Mark on Max Yasker's Dairy Farm. So was today Woodstock? Oh, my God, on my day. I knew I felt the vibrations, bro. I knew it. Today in sport, 1903, New Zealand's All Blacks play their first rugby test match against Australian's Wallabies. All Blacks does not sound politically correct, and I'm sorry I had to say it, but I'm just reading. At the Sydney Cricket Ground, New Zealand wins 22-3. to three. Okay, that's a terrible way to end. Let's end it with a dunk lifer of the day. Please save it. So let's go to the latest podcast and the dunk lifer of the day. By the way, my boy Davi Gazelle. He sent me a video. He didn't respond, though. I think he got his very first dunk with my training. So I'm super pumped about that. That'd be amazing. He was hype and it was a sh- it was a grainy video, but I got to I got I'll get back to you. And if so, I'm going to fucking post it on my story or something. Um, someone said, Dominic, you said this is basically my morning routine now. Um, let's see. One guy, Zin XFY wrote snowman, snowman, death face. So that's good. Um Breno Frost, Stephen Woke Dunk Selly. Oh, and then this one, um, this one I really like. Stephen Selly, greater than Red Bull. <laughs> Let's go. Hope you enjoy your day. Hope you got some fucking, oh shit. Hopefully, oh fuck, when did it stop? Well, my camera caught it. I have my mic on it. So sorry about that. Also, I'll show you my new car. Hopefully this doesn't sound horrible. Love you. Have a great day. Finish it with energy. Finish it with strong. I'm Red Bull. I'm fucking coffee. I'm fucking your jolt. Let's go. Use this energy. Fucking take off your headphones and fucking run out the door. Whatever you do right after this. And that's it. Have a good day. Go get the program if you want it. Support your boy. Thank you so much. I love you. Tomorrow's another day and I will do the same thing again. And then another day another that. And I don't know when this is going to end. I actually thought about that yesterday. When is this going to end? Do I ever stop? Do I have to do it daily for the rest of my life? It's okay. Because I love it. Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh!